So here's my new truck. Got this baby for uh, $1,700. It's a 05 Chevy, or it's a GMC uh, Sierra 3500 Dually with a 12 foot flatbed, 12 by 8. And uh, it maxes out weight wise, uh, carry capacity is 6,000 pounds, has helper springs that kick in at 2,000 pounds. Reason why I got this so cheap, a guy posted it, said, uh, you know, he basically just posted it for $1,700 and I was the first one to get to it. I took a day off of work to get to it. And, uh, you know, some things I think, it, reason why he sold it for cheap was, I think it was in a wreck because these headlights are all new, the grill is new, the bumper is new, uh, and there's cubed glass inside the truck. So I think he was probably in a wreck in it. Uh, I've owned it for about two weeks now. And there's a dent here. Uh, has a LS 6 liter uh, gasoline engine. Yeah, I replaced the mirrors. The mirrors were trashed. That's that's what makes me think it was in a wreck. I put these mirrors on it. It cost me 140 And I put uh, four new back tires on it. Which actually I bought off of Amazon for $128 a piece. And they're 10 ply. So toolboxes along the side. It runs and drives great. I mean, it's high miles. It's uh, 227,000 miles. But uh, 12 by 8 flatbed shakes. You can remove the shake sides. Steak or shake. I call them shakes because they rattle. <laughs> Got toolbox all the way around. Metal flatbed. And you can see the flatbed's a little, you know, worn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, for seventeen hundred dollars, I've bought a lot worse. It does have a little couple clickety clacks when you start it. I think it's probably a fan blade or a pulley. But uh, go ahead and pop the hood. <coughs> Automatic cold air. There she be. Six point liter Vortec. Someone told me that's a LS. What else has it got? Yeah, I'll start it. Yeah, you can hear a couple clickety clacks in it. Sounds like a diesel, but it's gas. <laughs> but, uh. Training is right for them. For more information. Yep, it's got dual tanks, and uh, I, at first I didn't know how to work switch tanks. But what happens is when the front tank gets down to one fourth, the back tank, which is a 25 gallon tank, fills up the front one automatically, which is cool. No places for the tanks. You can see that big tank right there. That's the back one. That's 25 gallon. But yeah, I mean, for $1,700, I've been driving this as my daily driver. Uh, the guy said he thought it had transmission problems. Turns out it was just really low on transmission fluid. So I put a lot of transmission fluid in it, about a quart, and now it drives great. Uh, I don't know if it has a small leak or anything, but I haven't noticed any drips. So, I don't know. Seems to be fine to me. Seat's torn, you know. But for how many miles it is, it's a good truck. Uh, yeah, Avalorum tax on this baby. Avalorum tax cost me $500 because it's valued at about seven grand. Avalorum tax is outrageous. AC works. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple work truck. Runs a little rough. But, uh,. Lucky, luckily, in my county, I don't have to pass emissions at all. So, yeah. There's that cube glass I was talking about. So, I think it was probably in a wreck, and maybe that's why it was for so cheap. But for $1,700, it's a good truck. Tell me what you guys think. I took a day off of work to get it. Uh, basically, got out there, and the guy's wife was home, and she's like, He's selling it? She didn't know. And I was like, Yeah, and I tried to give her the money. She's like, Oh, no, you'll have to wait till he gets home. He'll call you an hour and a half. He didn't call me. I just should back up. And I had money in hand. He's like, well, I had a buddy who's going to come by. I'm like, well, I have cash in hand. Shouldn't have listed it online if you had a buddy, you know. And so he took my offer of $1,700, which is actually the asking price. I didn't try to get him down any. I said, I got asking price. I'm not trying to get you down. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it runs and drives great.
I've hauled some big loads in it so far. But uh, tell me what you guys think. My $1,700 pickup truck, 05 GMC. Had to take his uh, his uh, DOT numbers off of it. Only thing I've done to it is put mirrors on it and uh, four new back tires. Yep, I need to get a brake controller. Heavy duty, flatbed. 